Now starting from the first section. Ya yuhanna suttaku rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum. O mankind, have taqwa of your Lord, your Master, your Rabb. Now to translate this word taqwa is very difficult, very difficult, rather impossible. Most of the translators, they use the word fear Allah, fear God, fear your Rabb, fear your Lord. To say the least, it is not appropriate. For fear, the word in Quran is khawf. Everybody knows. What is taqwa? Waqa yaqi means to save someone from some harm. And ittiqa means to save yourself. To save yourself from what? You save yourself from moral decay. And save yourself from the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is the meaning of taqwa. Therefore, I'm glad that the, some of the modern translators, they are translating it in a different way. For example, have regard for Allah. Ya yuhannasu taqurabbakum. O mankind, have regard for your Lord. This is a better translation. O you who believe. Ya yuhannadina amanu taqullah haqqa tuqatihi. Remain mindful of your Lord. This is a better translation. Remain dutiful towards your Lord. Keep your moral sense alive. So at different places, I'll be diff using different words, but not fear. You know, we have given the opportunity to the Christians. They blame Quran. That Quran invokes fear. Fear is not a positive sentiment. It's negative. They say Bible invokes love of Allah, love of God. And Quran invokes fear of Allah. And this is because we have translated so many words with one word and that is fear. Taqwa fear, khawf fear, khashiyah fear. Inzar to, to make somebody fear. Fear and fear and fear and fear. So they had the chance. Due to this wrong translations. So we should use better words now. O mankind, have regard for your Lord. Who created you out of one living being? Please note here. The word is not from Adam. Not from Bashar. Not from Rajul. Not that he created you out of one man or one human being. No. Nafs. What is nafs? Life. When you know the angel of Allah will come putting us to death, what they will say? Akhraju al fusakum. Let me take out your life. Malakul Maut will come and say, Akhraju al fusakum. So nafs means a living organism. So Allah has created you all from one living organism, one living being. And he created out of that living being, its mate. Now this translation comes very near the modern biological and zoological ideas. You know, in the beginning, when life started on this planet Earth, the primitive forms of life, unicellular organism, it had no sex. The procreation was by the division. One cell dividing into two, two into four, four into eight, going on. That was the procreation. Later on, there appeared sex. And we find in the beginning, both sex, both sexes in one organism. Then at a later stage of evolution, the sex is separated. Ya yuhanna so taku rabbakumul ladhi khalaqakum min nafsi wahidatin wa khalaqa min haa zawjaha. 
وبسمن هما رجالا كثيرا ونساء now when the sexes were separated now there was adam and eve and you know the second ayah which has which discusses the same theme in the quran is ayah number 13 of surah al-hujurat ya ayuhan nas inna khalaqnakum min zakarin wa unsa wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila li ta'rafu inna akramakum inda allah ayat qatu here zakarin wa unsa one male one female one man one woman adam and eve but here it is khalaqatum min nafsin wahidatin wa khalaqa minha zawjaha wa bassa minhuma rijalan kaseeran wa nisa and from these two from this pair he spread so many men and women in this earth 5 billions or 6 billions of them are today the progeny of adam and eve wattaqullah just note how important this taqwa is in one ayah it is being emphasized again same ayah the first ayah wattaqullah have regard for allah be be mindful of your duties towards allah keep allah in your mind always never to forget wattaqullah allazi tasaluna bihi in whose name you ask each other if some beggar is asking you for some alms what do they say allah ke naam pe in the name of allah please give me in the name of allah please forgive me also if you want to have forgiveness from somebody i'm sorry please forgive me in the name of allah i appeal to you so if you have to appeal to each other and you ask each other any favors with the name of allah so you must keep allah in your mind always be yourself dutiful to him be yourself obedient to him wattaqullah alladhi tasaluna bihi wal arham and you must respect the relationship related to the wombs the womb of the mother sons and daughters are coming from the same place they have a relationship due to the womb of the mother brothers and sisters now you rise up the womb of the grandmother here the cousins they join together go on ascending and you will read the womb of eve alayhi salatu wassalam and the whole of mankind comes within the folds of a universal brotherhood this is the relationship of the womb because i told you the reformation of this society that is the main subject of these first 43 ayat of this surah and what's the basis of society the basis of society the unit of society is a family i read you know today there was a very big ad full page ad you know in new york times but yesterday or day before from the american family association perhaps now they are very much fearful this institution is breaking it has decayed even your the president of the united states of america said that very soon the majority of the american nation will consist of bastards born out of any legal wedlock one parent family the family has gone to ruins to reform this family to make it a very strong institution because you know the wall is made of blocks or bricks if each brick is strong then the wall will be strong so this society is composed of families if each family is strong disciplined organized then the whole society will be organized and disciplined and this family what joins them is the womb wombs of the mothers wal arham just note how much importance quran is stressing on this kinship this relationship due to wombs but taqullah alladhi tasaluna bihi wal arham here you have to use the word ittaqu again what taqul arham 
ول ارحاما اٹ از مفول و تق اللہ ہیو ریگارڈ فار اللہ و تق الرحاما اینڈ ہیو ریگارڈ فار دس ریلیشن شپ بیسڈ آن دی وومز آف یور مدرس ان اللہ کان علیکم رقیبہ ویری لی اللہ سبحان و تعالی از واچ فل اوور یو ہی سینگ یو واچنگ یو وٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ 